corn is a lot of fun to grow, especially when the price is good like it is right now, but there's something that's going to try stopping your corn production every year. It's corn rootworms. Now, you can be in a corn on corn field and fighting through last year's corn stocks and you say, hey, I'm probably going to have some rootworm issues because I had corn here last year. Or you could be planting into soybeans or CRP or, or anything else. You can still have corn rootworms. Don't be under the false impression that it's only a corn on corn problem. It's only when I'm continuously farming corn I'm going to have rootworms. That's not the case at all. Corn rootworms are very prevalent across the upper Midwest in fields that had corn last year or anything else. Well, really across the entire country, and that's that's another debate right now. There are some farmers that think, well, I don't really need this triple stack corn. I don't need the rootworm BT corn out there. But you know what? In most cases, most of the trials being done, they're getting increased yield. So you can say you don't have a lot of rootworms, but you know, if you get your, your corn yields up, let's say you're starting to raise 200 bushel corn, it does not take a lot of rootworm pressure at all, and you can definitely afford to buy that insecticide or to have the rootworm corn out there. The main thing that we want to stress is you've got to have a good, healthy plant if you're really hoping to achieve higher yields in the future. Well, the tough thing about corn rootworms, Brian, is that if you've got a weed problem, you can say, oh, velvet leaf's a big issue. A guy can go out in the field, you can see that he's got velvet leaf, and a lot of times you'll see the crop be a little bit shorter in those areas or yellow, and you'll say, oh boy, that velvet leaf's really hurting me. I gotta get it under control. But corn rootworms, you gotta dig it up and look for these tiny little white worms it's not easy. <laughs> well, I, I'm kind of laughing here. And this is the reason why we're out in corn stalks right now, because you know, the way a lot of people think they have rootworm problems is when they're harvesting the corn and they say, I must have had rootworm problems there. My corn is all lodged or it didn't yield good or whatever. But at that point, the corn rootworms have done their damage months earlier. You really have no idea. Okay, it's early June right now. You can be out digging your corn plants up. This is right when the corn rootworms are hatching. So depending on where you're at in the country, but in the northern corn belt, rootworms are hatching right now or they maybe have in the last week or so. They're gonna be feeding on your corn plant through most of June. So go out into your refuge acres or go out into any untreated acres where you don't have that rootworm corn or insecticide out there. Dig some plants up and then what you can do is you can just take your plant root and all and just dip it in water. So put it in a five gallon bucket and the rootworms will float to the top a lot of times. So that's an easier way to scout. And I, I'm not saying this is real simple. It's not just walking through the field and seeing a few weeds. It takes a little effort to dig up some plants and find rootworms out there. But if you don't believe you have rootworm problems, sometimes you need to do these things just to prove to yourself, hey, I do have rootworms out there. Okay, let's talk just a little bit about the life cycle of a corn rootworm so you can understand what's going on in the field. You're going to see adult corn rootworm beetles later on in the summer that will lay eggs that will hatch in the spring. So what we're looking at right now, if you've got some larvae right now, some little worms down by your roots, that's those babies. Those eggs have hatched, now they're going to turn into worms, and eventually they're going to turn into beetles that you're gonna see above ground. Now there are several different types of beetles that you may see in our country. You may see northern corn rootworm beetles that are mostly a, a green or a yellowish color. You'll see some western corn rootworm beetles with some black stripes on their back. You'll see some southern corn rootworm beetles with some black spots. There are several different types of beetles, but if you've got some of those beetles out in your field later in the summer, you realize, hey, I had some corn rootworms feeding on my plants and I should have gotten that taken care of. Okay, so once again, right at this time of the year, you're going to start seeing some of the worms feeding in the soil, probably through June in the upper Midwest. Later in the season, July, August, you'll see the beetles around. A lot of times when the corn is silking, that's when you see a lot of beetles, but they could be there really for the rest of the summer. So if you're seeing rootworm beetles out in your field, you know you had a rootworm problem early on. You need to be treating on your farm. Now let's say that it's this time of the year and you decide, you know what? I didn't treat for rootworms. What can I do right now? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> okay, well keep in mind where those rootworm larvae are at. They're several inches down in the soil chewing off your roots. So to get any kind of an insecticide down several inches well, into not, the ground in the middle of the you summer. You should really say several inches though, because all the nodal roots are gonna come out above where you planted the seed. You planted the seed at two inches. So a lot of your total root mass 
is going to be in the top two inches at this time of the year. Sure, they're going to continue growing deeper and stuff, but a lot of the feeding that the rootworms do will be relatively shallow. So you could go out with liquid furidan now and pray for a good rain. You need at least an inch or two of rain to get it moved down into the soil, but that could give you anywhere from 50 to 80 percent control. It's not going to be spectacular. It's not as good as the rootworm BT. It's not as good as force or Aztec or something that you put down at planting time, but it'd be a lot better than nothing. So it is something for you to consider if you're going for high yields and you're really worried about rootworm. Well, the other thing to think about with corn rootworm is, okay, if I've got refuge acres, what should I be doing? How should I be doing things? Treating Can I treat them? them? <laughs> you know, when you plant refuge, what we do a lot of times is we'll plant the end rows to refuge acres and then plant the middle of the field with our BT traits if we're doing that. And on those and rows, we will put on some sort of insecticide. So with the planter, a liquid or a dry insecticide is great. The dries are better though. When you go force or Aztec, I'd expect 90 to 95% rootworm control. When you go capture or regent, the liquid products, you're gonna step it down a little bit. It's a little easier, yes, but you're probably gonna give up five, 10, 15% of control. But it's a whole lot better than nothing. You've right. gotta have something out there for protection. And the other thing is you've gotta lay these refuge acres in places where you can deal with them. Now, if you've got a planter that can deal with strips through the field for corn rootworm refuge, that's nice, but what about the other things that you may have refuge for too, like corn borers? You, you can't treat with them. So you've got to think about that when you're laying out those refuge acres in the spring. Well, once again, corn rootworm is a major, major problem in corn. We do suggest you take a look at it on your farm. If you didn't do anything early, there's not a lot you can do right now other than maybe throwing some liquid furidan out there and hoping for a real good rain and suppression of rootworms. Otherwise, you're just gonna have to forget about it for this year and move on to next year. But again, just just make sure you're doing something with rootworm because it can rob so much yield and especially when we have high corn prices that's yield you can't afford to lose. Well, you're gonna have to dig around to see some of these rootworm larvae right now but you won't have to dig around to see our weed of the week. Can you identify this week's weed? 